you know, I think you have uh, balance, whether or not it's enough, you know, I'll, I'll let other people be the judge of that. <laughs> um, but I, I do think they'll try to use another scholarship, at least. It's, it's very late in the game, later than yeah. it's ever been. Um, but there's still players out there and there's still chances to add to the roster. So we'll, we'll see what they do. Um, you know, again, this is not great news. It's, it's no way to, to spin <laughs> it into a positive. Um, <clears throat> but they do still have, you know, I would say four guards and two wings and a few bigs. So the, the I guess where you're looking at where there might be a deficiency is kind of a, a little bit on the wing. Um. Well, and again, it's it's never a good thing when North Carolina is looking for shooting, and the kid asking out of his and I L I was you know was a was a shooter. Um, but hear what you're saying. You made a quote a second ago that's later than it ever was. Uh, my late great aunt Pat used to say that whenever I'd ask her what time it was. Um, so when I ask it, you know, you talk about open ships. Is it too late for Hubert Davis to pivot? I mean, it may be too late for him to pivot in the 23 class, but. Uh, we've seen crazier things in the past. What do you think happens, or is it just too early to tell? Um, from a sourced reporting standpoint, I think it's too early <laughs> to tell. But if you can play uh, like we're about to get reckless, you know, I'm doing my terrible Le Retard impersonation. But like what follows here is speculation. It's not a report. It's just us talking. It's some dudes and 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 people talking ball. OK, but I mean, logically, wouldn't calling someone who may have been at your school already, who hasn't committed elsewhere, who mm. happened to play a similar position, wouldn't that make a ton of sense? Mm. I don't know. I, I, again, this is not a report. This, this is, is not, not a report. This, this is Sherelle yeah. talking to Joey with a bunch of people watching. <laughs> yes, this is a speculating. But, I mean, to me, that makes a ton of sense to say, well, you know, you haven't gone anywhere else. Maybe you can come back. Um, and that would give you your 11th player. It would give you um, additional uh, you know, backups at, at, at the wing uh, and, experience. Guy, and experience. So why not try that? I think that's, that's the most logical, you know, firm starting point, but I, I do think there will still be players available, uh, grad transfers and everything. And you're not looking for, at least I don't think the UNC staff is looking for someone who can come in and start at the two or three that, or, that or even, is, or even play 25 minutes a game. Yeah. Like, that ship, not... that ship has sailed. Right. Um, but you can't tell me there's not someone who uh, out there who you know wants to come in and they have one year left or or maybe uh, a couple of years left and their last destination wasn't great and they see North Carolina with three scholarships open and they say wow I can play seven minutes a game at UNC be a backup whatever and if somebody gets hurt or if I play well who maybe I'll earn some playing time I can collect a lifetime of free Jordans to get a whole bunch of free swag and be on TV a lot. It, you know, there are less appealing things than being the 11th or 12th guy at UNC. So there are players out there. Um, we'll see what UNC decides to do. But I, I, I think, you know, DeMarco Dunn is kind of the logical starting point. Again, don't know anything. Haven't talked to him. Haven't talked to anyone close to him. But that seems like somewhere where you would start if you were UNC.